What is up, everybody? JT Dangerous here once again. I am here to do my New Japan Pro Wrestling's Best of the Super Juniors 26 2019 predictions. Now, the Best of the Super Juniors is the first big tournament for New Japan Pro Wrestling, and it's all about the Junior Heavyweights Division, and it all starts next Monday live on NewJapanWorld.com, and it all culminates on June 5th, where the winner of the Best of the Super Juniors can challenge the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Dragon Lee at Dominion in Osaka Joe Hall on June 9th. Now, if Dragon Lee Lee can win the uh, win the best of the Super Juniors this year as the Junior Heavyweight Champion, which hasn't been done since Prince Devitt. He can handpick his opponent. Now, this year's best of the Super Juniors field is the biggest in New Japan Pro Wrestling's history, with 20 men fighting for one opportunity. So I am very excited to do my best of Super Junior predictions for you guys this year. This could be a long video because I'll be breaking down each block, their my initial thoughts, my top five and my finals predictions in this video. So sit back, relax, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record last year in tournaments was good. We went 5-4, and four, and last year in the Best of the Super Juniors, we had a winning record. So hopefully this video, we will continue the winning ways and start off 2019 with a winning tournament record. Hopefully. Now, if you have not checked out my videos I put up on the channel this past Monday, definitely go check them out if you haven't. As always, show your support on all of my videos by watching those videos, super kicking those like buttons and that notification bell, commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, is a first time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, you're big to go in if you're a huge New Japan Pro Wrestling fan like myself, and you're ready for this year's Best of the Super Juniors Tournament. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I am JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club because this club is just, just two. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these best of Super Junior predictions. Starting off in block A with the competitors. First, he is making his 18th appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors a tournament, and he won the tournament all the way back in 2004 and 2005, the only back-to-back -back winner. He is the legend Tiger Mask. Next, he is representing Chaos, and he is the reigning and one half of the three-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. He is Rapungi 3 ks show. Next, he is the reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion representing CMLL, making his third appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors. He is Dragon Lee. Next, he is also representing CMLL, and he is making only his second appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors. He is Teton. Next, he is the leader of Villain Enterprises, and he is one half of the reigning Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team Champions. He is also a former Junior Heavyweight Champion, making only his third appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. Whoop, whoop! One true villain, Marty Scrawl. Next, he is representing Ring of Honor, and he is making his debut in this year's Best of the Super Juniors, and I am so excited he is in this tournament this year. He is Ring of Honor's resident submission specialist, and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. the octopus Jonathan Gresham. Next, he is representing the cutthroat era of and he is the former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion making his third appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors. He was in the finals last year and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about.
soldier, Taiji Ishimori. Next, he is representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, and he is a former multiple time junior heavyweight champion in GHC, a former former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions with Tai Chi and El Desperado. He is the master of the Satori Surprise, and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. Yoshinobu Kanamaru. Next, he is also representing Suzuki Gun Ichiban, and he is making his seventh Best of Super Juniors appearance, and he was the very first World Wrestling Federation Light Heavyweight Champion. And if you know his music, making his theme debut on the channel, you know who I'm talking about because Taka is coming, motherfucker. Taka Michinoku. And finally, he is representing Los Ingobernables de Apon, and he is making his Best of Super Juniors debut. He is a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion with Bushi, and he's a lot of people's favorite to win this year's tournament. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. The Dragon, Shingo Takagi. Now, my initial thoughts on this year's Block A is, oh my god, what a stacked block this is. And it all starts next Monday in Block A with three huge matches. Now, one of these matches is going to be a rematch of a meeting back at Wrestling Don Taku Night 1 for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship with Ishimori facing off against Dragon Lee. That's going to be a banger. And if you haven't seen their matchup at Fukuoka and night one for Wrestling Don Taku, definitely go check it out. It was one of the best junior heavyweight title matches in New Japan Pro Wrestling's history. Next, you got Marty Scroll versus Jonathan Gresham next Monday in Block A. I mean, that is going to be a banger of a one on one showdown. And now, and then in the big match in Block A next Monday is the matchup between Sho and Shingo Takagi. This is Sho's chance. He's been talking about wanting to face Shingo Takagi one on one. And now this is his chance to prove that he can hang with the, hang with the dragon. Now, you got, and really this block is all about Shingo Takagi. I think he's the front runner to win the block. And because he's undefeated and he does not, he does not look like a junior heavyweight. When you look at Shingo Takagi, he looks like a heavyweight in a very small junior heavyweights division. But I think this year's block A looks to be pretty damn stacked. We're going to have some, uh, some dream one on one showdowns in this block. Now, on to my top five guys that I think can win block A. At number five, I have Sho. I think Sho will have a good showing this year. If he can beat Shingo Takagi, he can go definitely far this year. But this is a big opportunity on, on the first night of the Best of the Super Juniors if he can knock off the Dragon and end his undefeated streak. So at number five, I have Sho. At number four, I have Bone Soldier Taiji Ishimori. If you remember last year, he made it all the way to the finals before losing to Hiromu Takahashi. So he has the experience of making it to the finals, and he's looking to get back on track. After losing his opportunity to win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title back, Ishimori is looking to get back on track, and what a way to do it by winning the best of the Super Juniors this year. So at number four, I have Bone Soldier Taiji Ishimori. 
At number three, and I would think this is a lot of people would call this a shock, but I got the octopus Jonathan Gresham. Now, as soon as I heard Gresham being in this tournament, I was saying I was very excited because I've watched Gresham in Ring of Honor, and he's such a submission specialist that this map, this best of the super juniors will definitely work for him because his he can put anybody down with a tap out, just like Zack Saber Jr. And I think Gresham is going to have a fantastic debut in the best of the super juniors. So at number three. I have the Octopus Jonathan Gresham. At number two, I have the reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Dragon Lee. I think Dragon Lee is a lot of people's favorite to win the block and quite possibly win the tournament for the first time since Prince Devitt won it as the Junior Heavyweight Champion back in 2013. Correct me if I'm wrong if I'm wrong on that. But a lot of people want to see him and Hiromu Takahashi face off for this Junior Heavyweight title. Dragon Lee has said if he wins the tournament, he, his first opponent he'll be calling out will be Hiromu. And I know a lot of people would love to see that. So at number two, I have Dragon Lee. And now my number one pick to win Block A this year is obviously the Dragon Shingo Takagi. Like I said, this is Shingo's... Uh, block to win or lose. He's undefeated since coming in in October at King of Pro Wrestling. He hasn't been pinned in the. He hasn't been pinned or submitted, and he's coming in like a juggernaut in this junior heavyweights division. Even though he looks like a heavyweight, and I think this is his block to win, and this is his tournament to win. So my number one pick to win Block A this year in the Best of the Super Juniors is the Dragon Shingo Takagi. And now on to Block B, starting off with the competitors. First, he is making his 16th appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors. He won the tournament back in 2012, and he is the former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he is a, currently the one-third of the never openweight six-man tag team champions with Makabe and Yano. He is the funky weapon himself, and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> funky weapon himself, Ryusuke Taguchi. Next, he is representing Chaos, and he is the former two-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, a former Never Openweight Champion, and he won this tournament all the way back in 2016, making his fourth Best of the Super Junior appearance and quite possibly his final before moving to the heavyweights division, and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Assassin Will Osprey. Next, he is also representing Chaos and he is making his seventh appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors and he is the former eight time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. He is the manager, he is the manager of Rapungi 3K and a color commentator. He is the king of sneaky style, Rocky Romero. Next, he is also representing Chaos and he is the other half of the reigning three-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. He is Rapungi 3K's Yo. Next, he is representing Ring of Honor and Lifeblood and he is making his debut in this year's Best of the Super Juniors. He is an international sensation. He is Bandito. Next, he is also representing Ring of Honor, and he made his debut last year in the Best of the Super Juniors, and he is making a he's making his second appearance this year. He is re Ring of Honor's resident high flyer. He is Flip Gordon. Next, he is representing the cutthroat era of Bullet Club. And he is making his debut in this year's Best of the Super Juniors, but he made a lasting impression on Will Ospreay at night two of Wrestling Dontaku. He is El Fantasmo. Next, he is also representing the cutthroat era of... Bullet Club. 
And he is making only his third appearance in the Best of the Super Juniors. He is Bullet Club's Sniper of the Sky, Robbie Eagles. Next, he is representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, and he is the other half of a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion with Yoshinobu Kanemaru, and he is the de facto number one contender for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title because Dragon Lee said so, making his fourth appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors, and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. Desperado, and finally, he is representing Los Ingobernables de Apone, and he is a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion and a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. He is making his seventh Best of the Super Juniors appearance, and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Bushi. Now, my initial thoughts on this year's Block B in the Best of the Super Juniors is that it's not as good as Block A, but we got some fantastic one-on-one -on -one showdowns we're going to see in this block. And Block B starts next Tuesday with three huge matchups between Ryusuke Taguchi and Yo, Will Ospreay versus Bushi, and Bandito versus El Fantasmo. And I think this block is going to have all the like the banger one-on-one -on -one showdowns. I mean, you got Osprey and Bandito in this block, and I cannot wait to see their one-on-one -on -one showdown. You got Phantasmo and Osprey, Phantasmo and Bushi, uh, Taguchi and Osprey. That was the final. That was the finals in the twenty. Uh, I think the either I think the twenty sixteen Best of the Super Junior. So that's going to be a fantastic one-on-one -on -one showdown. But Block B this year is stacked with some. Definite five-star matches. Now on to my top five guys that I think could win Block B. At number five, I have El Desperado. Now, if you haven't heard, De Dragon Lee has said that he wants he wants Desperado as his next opponent for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. So Desperado is coming coming in confident because, as he said, he Dragon Lee ha named him the next contender for his belt. So Desperado. Could definitely be a sneaky pick to win. So at number five, I have El Desperado. At number four, I have Flip Gordon. I think Flip Gordon is going to have a good year in uh, his second appearance in the Best of the Super Juniors. Last year was a great, great showing for him. But the thing is, with Flip, we don't know what the extent of his knee injury is going to is going to come up in this matchup. And I think the knee is definitely the big bullseye on Flip. So at number four, I have Flip Gordon. At number three, I have Bandito. I think Bandito is going to have another. He's going to have a fantastic showing in his debut, just, just like Jonathan Gresham and Blocky. I think Bandito is going to have some fantastic one-on-one -on -one showdowns, and I think Bandito Osprey is going to be absolute fire. So at number three, I have Bandito. At number two, I have El Fantasmo. I think Fantasmo definitely uh, proved that he is legit good. At Wrestling Don Taco Night 2 by defeating Will Ospreay in that tag team matchup. And I think it was a big sign for Bullet Club to get El Fantasmo. And the guy is fucking talented. I think he can make a deep run in his debut in the Best of the Super Junior. So at number two, I have El Fantasmo. And now my number one pick to win this year's Block B is the aerial assassin Will Ospreay. I think this is a no-brainer. Ospreay could be making his final appearance in this year's Best of the Super Juniors this year before moving up to the heavyweights division and making it to this year's G1 Climax. So it would make sense that he would make it to the finals being he's a former two-time junior heavyweight champion, a former never openweight champion, and a man that has beaten some big heavyweights since uh, in 2019 this year alone. So my number one pick 
to win Block B this year is the Aerial Assassin Will Osprey. And now my finals prediction to see who will be facing Dragon Lee at Dominion for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion at Championship at Dominion. Between my Block A winner, the Dragon Shingo Takagi, facing off against my Block B winner, the Aerial Assassin Will Ospreay. Now this is going to be a finals like no other. Last year's final was good with Hiromu and Taiji Ishimori. This one is going to be good because Osprey has been some big heavyweights. Shingo is a heavyweight in a junior heavyweights division. This one's going to be an absolute classic finals for me. So coming from me, in this year's finals of the Best of the Super Juniors 26, oh, this one's so tricky. This can go either way. Osprey can definitely win his second Best of the Super Juniors or Shingo will win his first. It can go either way. And this one's a tough pick. But coming from me, I am taking the Dragon, Shingo Takagi, to win the Best of the Super Juniors in his debut, defeat Will Ospreay, and then go on to challenge Dragon Lee for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title at Dominion. And those are my Best of Super Juniors 26 2019 predictions. Now I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Comment below, who do you have winning the Best of the Super Juniors this year? I have the Dragon Shingo Takagi to win. Let me know who you got winning Block A. Who do you have winning Block B? What is your dream final? And who do you have winning the Best of the Super Juniors? Let's have a conversation about it, of course. I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course reply right back to me. Because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Now before you guys go, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick! That like button like only you guys can, and of course you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous Dangerous Alliance, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for my 2019 Stanley Cup Playoffs Eastern and Western Conference Finals predictions. Later days, guys, and peace.